Bro, Leon kicked the sh out of all those princes. And we talked about this last week in the last video. Was Leon going to be able to surpass what I thought of him and take all these princes out? Yes, he actually did. I think the funniest part for me was the fact that he was shit talking him the whole time. That shit was sick. And I think somebody in the comment section in the last video brought that up and they was like, man, I hope they keep the shit talking here. And they definitely did, which is something I'm glad that they did, right? It's something that I'm glad was kept in because you can't just kick the shit out of people, especially with Leon being the MC and there be no shit talking. That would actually be whack, right? That would have been hella whack. And then that would have gave the people who watch this anime and talk shit about it anyways, it would have gave them more shit to talk. Cause they would have been like, oh man, the eyes look whack and the animation isn't up to date. And oh, not to mention they kept out the shit talking. I know how people work, right? The irony in me saying that is like, did you notice the fickleness in the people? You see how quick they was to talk shit the entire time, like right before the fight started, before he went on this gauntlet of kicking the shit out of these princes? They was down to him, talking so much shit, laughing at him and everything. And then the minute he starts to win and he starts to talk shit, they're like, oh man, that's not right. That's not a way for a knight to act. But bro, wasn't y'all just talking all this shit? Wasn't y'all just hating? So the minute my boy Leon starts winning oh all of a sudden it's wrong all of a sudden oh it's because of his armor but y'all forgot to mention the fact that he's been out here adventuring see they be hating meanwhile the homies who bet on our boy leon man they about to be well off everybody about to be well off bro this shit's about to be so tight but yeah episode four of trapped in the dating sim went better than i expected i thought that at some point leon was definitely gonna have to like give in you know what i mean like he was gonna have to appease either the princesses or his sister you know falter to the princes but this is what leon wants he said that in the fight against jilk i believe the green haired dude that was towards the end because he was like you do realize that if you kill the prince like your nobility is gone and Leon's like, yeah, that's exactly what I want. I don't want none of this shit. Essentially, he just wants to go live a peaceful life as a mob character. But come on, man, you're the MC. We know where this is going, bro. We know exactly what's about to go down. He's about to kick the shit out of the other prince, the purple haired dude whose name I don't remember. But that's okay, because we're only here for Leon, Angelica, Olivia, Jenna to a point. But I want to see if they can make an impact on me, right? I, that's what that's what I want to see, which is why I can't wait for next episode, because I've seen the preview and I'm looking like, what is Olivia? you have to cry about unless it's for the purple head prince but it's crazy i think he's gonna he's obviously gonna beat julius's ass bro how are they gonna make this hard for leon right how are they gonna make this hard for leon because they have to i can't wait to see that for the next episode but bro the shit talk we gotta talk about it we gotta talk about it bro we gotta talk about the shit talk because he was kicking the living shit out of them not only physically doing that but mentally doing that as well another thing i want to point out right another thing that i want to point out is the name of his shovel knight armor right Aragons. <laughs> very fitting because even luxio was like don't worry i'll tell you later it's really fitting for you very fitting for you Aragons arrogance arrogant right they really know what they're doing with this shit i enjoyed that because it's like leon comes off as arrogant but who wouldn't be when everybody's been counting you out everybody's been talking shit and little do they know you've already beat this game like a million times so you know the battle sequences in and out you know everything there is about this dating sim game and marie on the other side oh yeah we know who she is because there's only one person that we know that forced their brother to beat this game right there's only one person that we know who did that and that's his sister her talking and saying this shit i'm like how did you die right how did you die what the hell what happened i think that was one of the the key points at the end of the episode was her coming out and saying that shit so now we have more like detail on why things were already out of whack as they were but interestingly enough like we knew there was going to be a tie-in to leon and marie right we already knew that that shit was like set in stone 
but hell of an episode very enjoyable like i said i wanted this to happen i wanted leon to kick the shit out of them i wanted angelica and olivia to you know enjoy themselves and continue to cheer on our boy even the master right even the tea ceremony master dude his teacher was the first person to like step up and clap for him when he won his first battle that that gave our boy leon a little more of like incentive to continue kicking the shit out of them bro but we've said this before right we said this last time that what was leon's purpose like why did he want to do this like he doesn't fuck with these princes in the first place because they gave him such a hard time irl not only did they give him a hard time irl they're giving him a hard time here for him to enjoy his life right as a mob character like i said i can't wait to see what happens next episode i can't wait to see the fight between him and julius hopefully it's a spectacle i'm kidding hopefully he just kicks the shit out of him and we move forward because that's what i look forward to i look forward to leon being an overpowered mc a shit talking scumbag because that's cool right that shit's cool as hell but let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section below let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if it was up to your standards let me know if there was more shit talk that was left out for you light novel manga readers that was looking forward to this I'm looking forward to your guys's feedback i'm gonna upload two videos today because obviously there was stuff that was going on yesterday in my area that was out of my control and we, i just chilled for the most part but again i appreciate all your patience i appreciate everybody who's been sticking with me through this shit i appreciate everybody who's been supporting the channel as of late you guys are awesome and we're gonna continue to move forward and make this passion a reality of mine leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new if there's anything else you want to see from this channel make sure y'all let me know in the comment section below the discord will be open to those of you who become patrons to the channel you guys are gonna get to see things earlier than anybody else so make sure y'all look forward to that and that being said it's your boy damo senpai and i will see you guys in the next video